Yo, what's happening 2K family? 2K mechanic back with another video. Excuse the microphone real quick. I am showcasing another build video for you guys today. Shout out to all the returning members and we just hit 5K woohoo for us. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving over this past year to get us to 5,000 subscribers. I will be doing a sub appreciation event probably either Friday or Saturday where y'all can come out and chill. Um, we'll stream, we'll get it going. And then I'll probably have a commemoration piece for this. Cause it, for those longtime members, right? I told you guys at the beginning, my goal was 5,000 people to, you know, subscribe to the channel. And we, we, we've did that in a year. So, uh, I really appreciate all the support that you guys are giving the videos. And it means a lot to me personally. So I want to do like a, something to commemorate this this milestone for us right so it'll probably be like a t-shirt or something like that that i'll put up right and it'll be a limited supply of course but you know show my appreciation for the for the glitch squad glitch gang in the building 99 gang all the above i appreciate it and if you're new to the channel feel free to give us a subscribe i post daily 2k content for 2k23 current gen and next gen so go ahead and tap in and before we get into it y'all please like up the video it helps put us in the algorithm and it also helps push the videos out to our current subscriber base so they can get the notifications as well all right so what we have today is a perimeter lockdown build so first name, last name, entirely up to you. Position, we can go either shooting guard or, or small forward. I think the name is the same both ways. All right, handing this right or left, depending on personal preference. And jersey number, you already know, 99 gang in the building. All right, so quick disclaimer, y'all. This build is not necessarily for to have the best perimeter lockdown. It's just giving you guys a guide on the parameters you will need to have if you want this particular name, okay? All right, so height is 6'7", weight is 184 pounds, wingspan 7'4", body shape all depending on you. Uh, I tend to go to define. I think it just makes your arms a tad bit longer. I could be in error, but it's just my, what I've been doing for the past couple of years. So we're going to go define, continue. All right, we're going to go 67 on a close shot, driving left. We're going to go 80 on a driving left, driving dunk. We're going to go 88. All right, mid-range, we're going to go 74. Three-point, we're going to go a 78, or you could take it to a 79. That'll still keep you in the same perimeter ballpark. If you go above if you go above 79, it'll give you like an inside score, inside out score or something like that, right? So we want to avoid that. Pass actually 76, ball handle, you can take this up to a 70, right? Yeah, 70. Interior defense, you gotta take you gotta leave this at a 68. If you take it higher than a 68, it's gonna give you like two-way interior finisher or a hybrid defender or something like that. If you take this above 68. Perimeter defense, 97 steel, 99 block, 87. O board, 70. Defensive rebound, 73, uh, 74. Speed, 86. Excel, 84, max that out. Vertical, 75. Stamina, I think you take this to 89. And then you can take your strength up to a 54. And I think your free throw should be at a 73. All right. So this is the bill right here. 15, 17, 12, and 28. Now, for if you want the perimeter lockdown name, you have to make sure your close shot is about a 67. Driving layup could be about an 80. Right, you driving dunk, you probably possibly get this up to a 92, but the close shot needs to be under under needs to be 67 or lower. All right, uh, your three pointer needs to be 75 or lower, 75, 79 or lower. I'm sorry about that. Your pass accuracy, I think it needs to be under 80. Your ball handle, I think the ball handle can be. Um, you can probably take this all the way up to 80. Take the speed ball up to 80. You'll probably still come with the perimeter lockdown name. Uh, the key thing is close shot needs to be 67. Interior defense needs to be under a 70, like a 68. And I'll go 68. As you can see, 68 is the uh, the uh, kind of like the, the little milestone where you need to get to get 28 badges, right? So 97 perimeter defense, you, this is a lock perimeter lockdown. So we want to be as OP as possible. 97, of course, gives you Hall of Fame clamps. 99. Of course, gives you Hall of Fame glove and Hall of Fame interceptor. For, you know, like why not? 87 block gives you 
gives you silver anchor to definitely lock down the paint just in case you got to guard you know all the way into the paint if you're playing in the 1v1 setting or not a 1v1 setting but if you're playing uh, uh your own ball right 70 O board that helps you with the 28 as well and 74 d board also helps you with that 28 as well all right so we got a good amount of speed on this build so 86 speed 84 excel 54 strength which is solid 75 vert just to help you with the pro contact guns, dunks that you get at an 88 and also keep in mind that at an 88 you get i think the michael jordan dunk package which is you, know, you can jump over people with that uh then also i think you get the zion williamson at an 87 the zion williamson alley -oop package okay uh vertical 75 Stamina is an 89. You could probably take this down one if you wanted to add more to your free throw, which I think 73 is high enough, in my opinion. Again, 15, 17, 12, and 28. All right. So takeovers, you're able to get you know sharpshooter take and you're able to get lockdown take. Right. So we'll just put extreme clamps and perimeter badge drop. Or you go double perimeter badge drop. Right? Mm, we can do bubble, double perimeter badge drop. Because then you already have Clamps Hall of Fame. So let's get toxic out there, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's continue. We got shades of Tony Allen already goaded. DeJounte Murray and Cade Cunningham. This is good, good, good air to be in. You have built a perimeter lockdown from our perimeter lockdowns out there. So let's go ahead and test the build, y'all. All right, on finishing, you're gonna want put that acrobat on, put fearless finisher on. Let's see what we had six. You put the aerial wizard or fast switch if you plan to finish in the middle. But you know, I don't. You don't really. Be, I don't plan. I don't suspect you'll be driving like that. But if you do, you know, you might want to put that fast switch on. It's entirely up to you. So what we want to core, you probably want to core limitless takeoff and then put that posterizer on. And until they fix, uh, you know, until they fix the, the glitch where you can't core if you don't have as many badge points as necessary to core, meaning like if I had, if I wanted to add my additional four or two here, right? So I could get uh, limitless takeoff on silver, which I recommend. And posterizer on silver, which I recommend. You won't you you'll only be able to core, let's say posterizer, bronze, and then you would add, you know, to limitless takeoff or something like that. So until they fix that, y'all, this will probably be your best bet. Just core posterizer and add your <clears throat> add one additional batch point and add that to uh limitless takeoff on silver. Uh yeah, my opinion. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead to shooting. Shooting, you'll probably want claymore as the spot up. And, you know, depending on how many shots you take, you put volume shooter on. But we'll go ahead and put mm, guard up. Uh, I don't think we need guard. Let's put clutch shooter on. Let's put green machine. Y'all know I like green machine. Catch and shoot green machine. All right. So what are we at? We're at eight. Let's see. Let's take this down. Two. All right, y'all. So we got catch and shoot silver, green machine silver, claymore silver. Uh, let's see. Can we get, we're going to get limited range, dude. Did I... It's really nothing, really nothing that you really need. I will right, we'll go that silver. We'll bring this up one. Then I guess put guard up on y'all. Or if you don't want guard up, you go volume shooter if you take a lot of shots, right? So that's really all you need, right? From a shooting perspective, y'all, because shooting is not, shooting is pretty easy. I'm not going to say it's pretty easy, but if you're shooting spot ups like a perimeter lockdown, if you're in a corner or something like that, uh, then you'll, you'll be able to spark with this setup right here. All right, playmaking. Let's see, playmaking. Let's put needle threader on. Let's put that vice grip on. Quick first step. We only get bonds. So, if you wanted to, you nah, you, you wouldn't be able to do it right now. Uh, so, we got three left. 
I guess put bell out on. Put that bell out on, and we move it like keep it moving like that. Defense for sure. Let's put this anchor on. That's four. I like off ball pass. That's seven. We'll put this ankle braces on. That's ten. Claps Hall of Fame. Put that glove Hall of Fame. Challenger Gold. And then we could put it into uh, Chase Down Artist. Or you, you know, you, you probably want to leave some. Let's see. For workhorse. Workhorse is goaded too. But yeah, y'all can run it like that. And then you can add your plus five or add your plus four here, right? And then you could put some in the interceptor, right? So I think this would be pretty good. Let's see, hold on, we missed some stuff in. We can core some stuff here, right? Core this, that'll give us four more back. Run that, mm, we can run hyperdrive or dimer. Run it like that. Let's see. We didn't call anything in shooting. We can call catch and shoot. So that gives us four more badge points. And we can put that in the guard up. Volume shooter. Put in a slippery off ball. All right. And that's pretty much it, y'all. This is a perimeter lockdown build, like I was telling you guys before specifically on the name and just follow those uh parameters if you want to keep the name keep the cold shot low you don't want your pass accuracy to get above 80 your interior defense needs to be under 70 right and then you i forgot to say your your rebound needs to be under 80 right or to give you like a hybrid defender name which isn't too bad, but you know, just in case. All right, 2K Mechanic signing out. Hope you guys appreciate the video. Hope you guys go crazy out there. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace, y'all.